What's up y'all, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Today, we are working on the Evo a little bit, so let's hop right into this. All right, so what we're doing today is kind of a small project, but it's for the bigger picture. Um, pretty much everything we do with this car from here on out this winter is gonna be focused on the future in the springtime. So we're gonna begin to tear the car down, take parts off, get it stripped down, all that good stuff. So I figured why not just start small? And so today we're gonna to remove the window tint because it's old, it's purple, it's bubbling in some places, and it has this weird haze on this window right here. Um, it looks like crap. So in the springtime, I'm gonna go put some ceramic tint on there and honestly, I'm trying to save on labor a little bit. <laughs> um, I'd rather the guys at the shop not have to worry about taking off this old tent. So I wanted to be able to go in there, put the tent on, and be done with it. So uh, we're gonna try to get it off best we can. I don't have a heat gun. Um, all I have is a hair dryer. <laughs> I've never had a heat gun, but I've also never removed window tent. So I'm hoping that the hair dryer can uh, produce enough heat to get the window tent off of there in one big piece and not uh, leave behind glue residue, all that stuff. Um, I can scrape the side windows pretty easily with a razor blade, but um, I'm hoping that back glass comes off smooth. Uh, like I said, I'm worried about it being brittle and the back glass has those heating elements in the window and you can't scrape that. So um, yeah, that could be an issue, but we're gonna cross our fingers and uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, so I'm not sure if you can tell or not in, on camera, but um, it's pretty purple. Um, I never tinted the windows. I got the car originally with about 9,000 miles on it, I think, and uh, it came tinted. So I'm assuming this is from 06. So it's due for an upgrade. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna remove uh, this tent first. All right, so as I've always said with glass stuff, um, use a fresh razor blade because if you use an old one or a used one, um, you can scratch the glass a lot easier. I guess you still can with a new one, but as long as you're careful, you should be fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up and get a corner of it started with the razor blade and then hopefully this comes off in one big beautiful piece. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure if you saw it or not, but I was taking my hand and putting it on the outside of the glass to feel when it got like super friggin' hot before I pulled it. And um, it worked pretty well. There's no sticky stuff, no residue, none of that. Um, this up here, that's what you don't want. Um, <laughs> it was still too cold when I pulled it and it left behind some glue and residue and all that. So as long as we take our time, we should be good. Um, I do need to remove the door panel, obviously, to get it all the way off, but um, I'm gonna work my way around first and then we'll get to that. But look how purple that is. There. All right, so it's kind of hard to tell, but I got a little excited in some places and pulled before it was hot enough. Um, it left behind some goo, some residue, all that, but the hair dryer is working. Um, you can definitely tell when it's like you're pulling it and there's nothing, and then the glue begins to stick a little bit. It's just a little too cool. So uh, keep the heat moving around and you should be good. I know it'd be way easier with a heat gun, but um, I don't have that, so we're gonna work with it. I'm gonna take a razor blade, scrape off this goo, and move on to the next one. All right, so you might have saw right there, we got about halfway across and it just gave way and it all came off. So um, is what it is. We'll take care of the glue and stuff there, the residue, and uh, go to the other side. Um, it's just, it's so old that at some point when you're pulling on it, it just gives way. Um, I think it's lost its stickiness a long time ago, but um, it still does leave behind some residue. So we'll take care of that. And I'm not sure what you would call it, but I got like the tint when you're pulling it off, I got particles and stuff all over me. So um, yeah, it's just old and crusty. So we'll take care of that, scrape it off and go to the other side. <laughs> you 
You know, the hair dryer is not going too bad. Um, I feel like if you had a heat gun, it's more like instant heat, whereas the hair dryer takes a minute to warm up and then it takes a little bit longer and then once it gets hot and going, um, it's not so bad. But um, yeah, I feel like that maybe would speed the process up a little bit. But I mean, other than that, that hair dryer is doing the trick. All right, got those done. Um, that was pretty smooth. I uh, I feel like because I know I can scrape them, <laughs> I uh, I wasn't going as careful as I should have been. But it really wasn't that bad getting the glue off of there. So uh, we got both sides of that done, and now um, it is time for the rear glass. Um, this one's going to be the biatch of the group, I believe, um, just because these little lines here, uh, the heating elements. It's only from here to here, so uh, it shouldn't be that bad. Um, I'm going to take extra time with this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get in the car, put some heat to it, and um, go as slow and as easy as possible and try to get uh, this off of here with as little um, residue and goo. Um, I have a little bit of goo gone left, but um, honestly, with some alcohol, it should be fine. So um, I'm going to go ahead and try that and see how it goes. All right, so got everything set up in here. Um, I've already kind of started that corner over there. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get you guys in here set up somewhere and uh, yeah, we'll start this process um, This piece came off uh, fairly easily um, I don't know this back piece seems to be coming off. It's not very sticky. So hopefully that continues to be the case So uh, yeah, let's get to it All right, it's out. Uh, for the most part, it came out pretty well. Um, there's some glue up top here, which is fine. I can scrape that. There's no elements up there, um, except for like around the edge, but um, it's like right in the center of the glass there. So that's fine. Um, and then where I was pulling it and then I had to like stop and then start again, um, it was dropping down glue when I did that. So there's a couple little lines here and there gotta take care of. And then uh, right here in the middle, um, I just couldn't get a good angle down there to get it pulled off right. And so um, it kept skipping and when it was skipping, it was putting down glue. So um, there's quite a bit of sticky stuff right in there. I gotta take care of. Um, hopefully the goo gone and some alcohol will take care of that. Um, I should have taken out the interior first, but I didn't. So here we are. Um, this is all gonna come out anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out now and then I should be able to get in there and get that stuff cleaned off. So um, yeah, moving right along. Also, I would have loved to have had one of those like vinyl wrap gloves for my hand because my hand got super hot in some places <laughs> around there. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, to the interior. All right, so alcohol is doing a fantastic job of getting this glue off. Um, alcohol, it dissolves the glue anyway for a lot of things, uh, but I think where this is just so old, I mean, it wipes right off. So uh, I'm going to try to show you here. Um, I'm not using, it's just straight up alcohol. There's no dilution, no water, just straight up 70% and um, spraying it on there, letting it set for a second and wipes right off. So um, check this out. Boom. Now, I'm not sure if that is because, focus, 
<laughs> I'm not sure if that's because the glue is so old it's that easy, but um, that's fantastic. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the rest of this window. Should be no time. Honestly, if you just spray the alcohol on there and let it sit, it'll turn hazy. I mean, you can see the glue here. Um, now, I'm not sure if this reaction is because mine is super old, uh, but the alcohol is doing the trick, and alcohol will dissolve the glue regardless of how old it is, but I'm just curious if like this reaction is because mine is so old and crappy. Uh, but yeah, pretty neat. All right, we got all of the goopies off of the window. Uh, no issues whatsoever. Um, just a little bit of elbow grease and some alcohol and uh, took it right off of there. Um, that whole thing with the heating elements and all that stuff, I was kind of stressing about that for no reason apparently. Um, just to get some alcohol and it will come right off. So <laughs> I am pretty pumped on that. All right, that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully this helped a little bit if you're trying this at home. Um, it really isn't that big of a task, but um, I was kind of stressing about that back glass, but uh, the alcohol really did the trick on that. So um, I'm not sure if that's because mine was super old and the glue was really old, but um, I do know alcohol does dissolve the glue for like stickers and all that kind of stuff. So um, I'm assuming it's the same thing for the window tent. So um, yeah, get you some alcohol, you should be good to go. I am really glad to have that tent off of the car. I've been wanting that tent off of the car since since we were in Florida pretty much. So <laughs> glad to have that done. Glad to move forward with this thing. Uh, we have some other things coming up. Um, I might have a couple other videos here and there of the BMW before we have this thing in the garage for the long haul. Um, I wanna get those things taken care of first before this thing's sitting here. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. As always, I do appreciate it very much. Drop a comment down below. If you guys have any questions, comments, whatever, be glad to chat down there. While you're down there dropping that comment, don't forget to do all the other YouTube things. You guys know how it goes here. I hate that that works, but it does. It helps the channel out a ton. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.